light shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? It shines directly onto this note. Could that be a coincidence? Now the light shines onto this note here. It reads, the colors come back into the world. Huh? me. Oh, that, that was me, actually. He shall approach. I see only a child in the costume of a clown. I'm a carny. The carny is lost. My name is Shadwick, and I'm not lost. I'm looking for Shana. I am Shana. Yeah, I... I already figured that. So, he's able to use his brain then. And yet he's here, where he doesn't belong. He may speak for the time being. What does he want from Shana? Who sent him? A uh, chesky called Bobby sent me. The clown speaks words of nonsense. The path of the Chasky is a dangerous one. No Chasky would be so negligent of his honor as to abuse a useless child for his own purposes. Maybe I'm not as useless as I look. <laughs> he doubts the truth of his own words. How useful does he think he is? Well, it true that I drop things quite frequently. I'm also not as strong and athletic as my brother. To be honest, there's nothing he couldn't do better than me, but... Enough! I've heard sufficient evidence. If this Chasky really exists, I want to talk to him in person. Why doesn't he come himself, instead of sending a useless child? He was attacked by the Askill. Hmm... The Asgill have never advanced into the Autumn Forest before. Is the world in such a bad condition already? This is indeed disturbing news. What now? Can't you help him some way? If he really is a Chusky, he will be able to help himself. He told me you can interpret dreams. The Chusky neglected to give him an important piece of information. Shana only interprets dreams for important persons, not for clowns. My dreams are meaningful too. He is not in the position to decide that. All right, then you tell me if they mean anything. After all, you're the expert, right? I am an oracle. I see things before they happen. I do not see me giving comfort to a clown that slept badly. I didn't come here as a clown. I'm helping Bobby carry out his mission. He even entrusted me with a whispering stone. What does he say now? The whispering stone is with us in the autumn forest. He shall show it to Shana. Well... I don't exactly have it on me right now. Miserable fool! The Whispering Stone 
is an important and powerful object. It shall be returned to the palace at once. What would happen if the Whispering Stone is not taken to Corona? The Whispering Stone is a powerful object. You said that already. While the Whispering Stone is not in its place in the Royal Palace, the equilibrium of the world is disturbed. This world will end. Like in my dream. A clown has dreamed of the end of the world. It was not a dream then. It was a vision. That... That's what I was trying to tell you the whole time. There are but a few people who can see doom in their dreams. I must discover more. I sense there is a mighty prophecy in this dream. So you're going to tell me what it means, right? Yes, but he won't be pleased. Is that part of the prophecy? Juggling with supernatural powers is not a circus act. He will hear things that were never meant for human ears. I hear Ben snoring every night. I don't shock easily anymore. The clown believes he cannot be shocked anymore. He is a fool. What gave me away? The baubles? He does not take Shauna seriously. It might be a mistake to reveal his fate to him. No, no. I'll be quiet already. I'm sorry. I'm just excited. Please go on. Very well. You shall give a full account of the details of his dream. Well... First, there is this rocky landscape. Everything is destroyed. I run as fast as I can, and then the rocks under my feet give way. Then, all of a sudden, I notice a blue light, and... Oh... Uh, hello? Shana? Shana, you... Uh, all of a sudden, you seem to be... Uh, I don't know. Tent. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. Flashy eyes and everything. Kind of weird, but... Okay, enough of that. This is getting way too spooky already. Uh, Shana? Could you please kindly... Sad week! This world is about to meet its end. Like the world in your dream, this one too will crumble. You, Sadwick, hold the fate of the world in your hands. Okay. You will be the one who dooms this world. What? It is your fate to destroy this world. What? No, no, hold it. Shana! No! You must be wrong! Hey! You haven't finished yet! I'm sure I'm supposed to save the world, aren't I? <gasps> that was a mighty vision! What did I say while I was in the trance? Well, we'd better, uh, better talk that over. Maybe later, okay? The clown must tell me what I prophesied. Yeah, all right, all right. I guess I have to get it off my chest sometime. You said I would... Uh... Yes? You told me. Phew. It's not easy. I just can't get the words out. You said I would... Oh my... What is wrong with the clown? What is he trying to tell us? Um... <sighs> I don't want to talk about it. He should do so nonetheless. Only Shana can help the clown fulfill his destiny. Yes, uh, that'd be great. Um, maybe later, okay? No. We have to know now. What were the exact words of the prophecy? You told me I would uh, save the world. Did I now? Yes. Save the world. Those were your words. But I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to do that. Well, he is in possession of the Whispering Stone. Yeah, um... In a way, yes. Then the task is set. The Whispering Stone must be taken to Corona, to the King's Castle. 
L K, and then the world will be saved and not destroyed, right? Yes. Just like in the prophecy. Have you ever been wrong? Never. The prophecies always come true. But not always in the manner that one expected. So, there is room for interpretation. What does the clown insinuate? Ah, uh, nothing. How do I get to Corona? It must be terribly far away, and I don't even have directions. Yes, the clown will need help. He mustn't lose time. The only way is to find Kalida. Kalida will take him to Corona. Kalida? Who's that? Another oracle? I hope it's easier to find her. Kalida lives in the middle of the lake. How am I ever supposed to get there? It is never easy to fulfill one's fate. How do I get to the island? I cannot help the clown to find his way. But he is the boy from the prophecy. He a light? What kind of a light? Where the forest is deepest, the chosen one will be guided by light. Hmm. I think I know what to do now. Everything is in the hands of a clown now. He is our last hope. Hey, another strange creature. Where did that come from? And what's that it's playing with? A strange little fellow. The way he clenches this red Nawai egg, he seems to be crazy about it. the moment my repressive tendencies took over. I won't dwell on the fact that spiderwebs never appear from nowhere. There's always a corresponding spider. Let's see. No, the web is too strong. I can't cut my way through. Nature creates a great number of amazing species. And sometimes, I believe she only does it to annoy me. Phew! No, the ball is tightly attached to the totem. That might work.
Come here, Spot. Here we go. Oh, oh dear, aren't those, uh, um, yeah, those uh, creatures that uh, prey on you in the depth of the forest and, and, and lure you into dangerous places? What are they called again? Chesky, uh, oracles... Oh no, uh, lightning box! That must be the tree Bobby was talking about. It's taller than all the other trees in the vicinity. But how can I get up there? I'm a rotten climber. tree seems to be hollow. Now, where the forest is deepest, the chosen one will be guided by light. Hmm. tree seems to be hollow. Have they gone? Let's see where those lightning bugs have disappeared to. Hey, there's nothing here. Where have they gone? Where have the lightning bugs gone? Maybe I'm going slightly mad. But the lightning bugs must have gone somewhere. Ah, uh, what the heck? There we go. There's a cavern under the tree. Yuck, now the dangers are sticky. Stickier than they were, that is.
I guess I could tinker with these a bit. That's not bad. It isn't finished yet, but it's a good start. The claw would go perfectly with my little sculpture. Where do these pipes come from? And what's with these strange sparks? How can that be? I... Ouch! Oh, that headache! Damn! Ow! Ouch! Ah! Damn! Oh, it's always the same with the boy. What just happened? I don't think I really want to know. No, it looks... Hmm, this hat used to be much more pointed. Maybe the stone powder would be a good substitute for the starch. Uh-oh. That seems to have worked a little bit too well. And we're not like this at all. Hi, Ben. Oh. What do you want this time? Did you feel the earthquake? Well, I certainly did. I dropped all my balls. I hope it doesn't happen during a performance. What if the earthquake is an indication of the world falling apart? Or, or the sky crumbling down? During a performance? That'd be a catastrophe! Ha ha! You don't fool me. You're just as scared of the end as everybody else. I'm an artiste. I'm never scared. You really expect me to believe that you're never scared? That's right. Never. Not even of the Asgill? Asgill? What's that supposed to be? The Askill are terrifying creatures with sharp claws. Claws? Yes, so sharp, they can peel the skin from your body in mere seconds. <laughs> and what else? They have two heads. Two heads? Yes, and each head possesses a toxic breath that paralyzes its prey. And while one of the heads eats your defenseless limbs, the other is laughing its cruel and cackling laugh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm starting to get the picture. Even worse are their sharp teeth. Teeth? Yes. They can bite through your neck in no time. The jaws are strong enough to grind even the strongest bones to mere dust. Ooh, those Asgill really seem to be gruesome creatures. I have to admit, I wouldn't want to meet them in a dark alley.
to you. Yep. And don't forget, you're a c- <sighs> I've got something for you. Hmm? Oh! An Asgill! Whoa! Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Take it away! Oh. Huh? Very funny. Yeah, I thought so. You wanna swap? Yeah? With this awesome red ball I have? Okay then, catch! I don't like fire dragons, but I like harnessing Bruno in the dark even less. I'm sure the fire dragons don't want to be caged either. It's a typical lose-lose situation. Bon appétit, Spot. Chadwick, no! Now look what you've done! Well, Spot seems to like it. He even liked his gallstones. He just doesn't know what's good for him. Or he wouldn't follow you around all the time. Show me what you can do.
Good boy, Spot. I won't take one more step, as long as those eyes are staring at me. Well, let's see. <laughs> those eyes were scary already, but this... <laughs> Those eyes were scary already, but this... I prefer to let him rest in peace. If I were dead, I wouldn't want anybody messing with me. Huh. It seems to have rained through the hollow tree up there. But there's another distinct smell. <laughs> Is that petroleum? That seems to be the right place for that. The pressure from the explosion would extend into the hollow tree trunk. I don't feel too enthusiastic about fireworks, but who gets what he wants all the time? This would do as a fuse, but it's too damp. It would never burn like that. I'm not that desperate to resort to tying things together at random. It's that other kind of desperation. The kind where you refrain from things like that. The rope is too damp to burn. Good idea. The petroleum soup is useful at last. Besides keeping the wolves away. Yes, this will do perfect. Come on, Spot. Now let's get out of here quick.
must have been a fire here recently. And this hollow tree acted as a chimney. It's a miracle the rest of the forest was spared. The lake is smaller than I expected. If I only knew how to swim, I might even have a chance. But I'll have to find another way, I'm afraid. That's the island where I'm supposed to find Kalida. It doesn't look too far from up here. But how am I supposed to get to her? It looks colorful and cheerful from the outside. But inside, it's dead and hollow. Oh, hang in there, little clown. Uh, uh, tree. I mean, I, I meant to say tree. The hat fits perfectly. Now all I need is some ammo and... Oh dear, I must be suicidal. That's the wrong way around. Maybe that's the way to extract the whisper. Don't act up. That seems to be a pressure. I don't feel... Come on, Spot, show your... Now let's get out of... Okay. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Don't dawdle, Sadwick. Quick, Spot. <gasps> Derek. <sighs> oh, dear. Um... Together with the last rays of the sun bathing the sky above the lake in autumnal red, Sadwick floated towards the island. A peculiar fatigue overwhelmed him in the cold air of the night closing in. Sadwick! What? Where am I? Oh no, not that dream again. Have I fallen asleep? You have never been more awake than now. What do you mean? What do you want from me? I want you to fulfill your destiny. This world must be destroyed by your own hand. I would definitely not do that. Never, do you hear me? If you do, you will perish together with this world. No, you're lying. This is all just a dream. I want it to stop. I want to wake up. Yes, Sadwick. It is time. Wake up! Ouch. What? Where am I? Obviously, I've already landed on the island. Without breaking my neck, it must have been a very boring landing. I slept right through it. What time might it be? Hey! You! Hello, my little friend. What kind of a costume is this? Would it happen to be a clown? I'm a carny. In other words, a clown. What brings a clown like you to such a joyless place? I have to find Kalida. Kalida? Well, you have found her. What do you mean? Are you Kalida? Me? But 
I am a part of Kalida. I don't understand a word. You don't always have to understand everything to act in the right way. Do you really have to speak in riddles? I need help desperately. Got to get to Corona. To the King's Castle. No matter where you came from, you've taken the wrong turn. There is no road leading away from this island. So Shana sent me into a dead end? <sighs> I have to prevent the world from collapsing. Doesn't everyone have to do that? One type of person does that by taking action, others by remaining inactive. Ah, uh, yes, uh, maybe. But I really have to do it. Not in a metaphorical, wishy-washy kind of way. I see you are full of concern, little man. I wish you good luck on your quest. It's dangerous to wake Kalida. Perhaps she will eventually help you to leave the island. But consider that you yourself are a part of her as long as you stay here. What? Hey! Wait! What do you mean by all of that? Hello? I've got a bad feeling that the search for Kalida could take quite a while. What kind of strange bubbles are those? Are there hot springs here or something? Seems like it's been a long time since the flag's been waving. Phew. No chance. Though the pole is quite brittle, I'm just not strong enough. There's an engraving. Kalida has her ears in the water. Huh? Hey, there's my shovel. It didn't survive the flight. The handle's broken off. Ooh. That could have been my spine. I wonder if the rope bridge will remain stable if I take one of those. How am I supposed to ring that bell? The bell rope is missing. Hmm. Locked.
Hello. Hmm. What? Who? A clown? What are you doing here? My name is Sadwick. I have to prevent the world from collapsing. <laughs> yeah, very funny. But don't waste your time. You won't be able to boost my spirits anyway. Who are you? My name is... Uh, uh, my name is Bondo. What? Bondo. Come again? Bondo. Bondo. Waldo? Bondo! My name is Bondo! Holy mackerel! I am Bondo! Bondo! How often did I tell you to keep it down? Uh, look what you've done now. We woke the boss. Uh, he's sure to punish me for that. Why are you so unhappy? Does the impending end of the world bother you too? The thought that all could soon be over? Oh no. That's something for others to ponder. I don't care if the end is coming. On this island, we're done for anyway. You see, there's nothing to do anymore. <sighs> I'm looking for Kalida. Who are you looking for? Kalida? <laughs> You're a real clown, aren't you? Why? What's strange about that? No, wait. Let me guess. Kalida is dead, or she never existed. <laughs> no. Kalida exists all right, but you'd better leave her alone. What do you mean there's nothing to do anymore? It's been quiet here. Since the boss closed the factory. Factory? Pearls used to be pressed here, but the production has been discontinued. I see. Why is that? Well, the boss met his goal. 10,000 pearls. And now, he's afraid of losing everything. What he fears most is that someone could wake Kalida. He's really paranoid. I can't make the slightest sound anymore. <sighs> It used to be different. I was allowed to do the most thrilling jobs. I used to blow the foghorn in the house of the howls. And come noon, I was allowed to ring the bell, which sounded all over the entire island. But the most thrilling job was the work in the factory. Hot air, thick smoke, and the noise of massive machinery drowning everything out. Warm! Kaboom! Ha ha ha! Bando! What's going on down there? Be quiet, will you? Or do you want Kalita to wake up? Oh, oh, oh dear. You see what I mean? Uh, the good old days are over. <sighs> ah, well. About those former jobs of yours. Ah, the good old days. What do you want to know? What was that about the factory again? Ah, those were the days. I had the fastest shovel on this side of the autumn forest. What I liked best was to shovel coal in the heat of the furnace. Above me, the ear-deafening noise of the pearl press. Wham! Boom! Look here, Mother Nature! Your masterpiece is being surpassed by the power of muscles and machinery! Bando, I'm warning you! <sighs> Nothing lasts forever. Couldn't you learn something different? Hmm? Something different? Mm, sounds exciting. What do you propose? You could open a circus? I don't know about that. I mean, look at your rags. I don't want to make a fool of myself in front of all the people. You wouldn't have to be the clown. Hmm. That's right. I could be in the lion taming act. Roar! The lion tamer would have a hard time taming me. Roar! Bando! 
One more sound, and you'll be confined to your chamber! What on earth is going on down there? Nothing, Ruben! Roar. You could become a drummer. Hmm? Drummer? I bet I'd be a great drummer. I could play the barrel drum in an orchestra. I'd be louder than anyone else! And the cello players would get to feel my drumstick. The audience would go crazy! Bando! Bando? I can hear them holler even now! Bando! Bando! Be quiet already! Ah! Uh. Yeah, you know what? I think I'd better skip that. I don't think Reuben would approve. You could be a market crier. Market crier? Wow, I always wanted to be a market crier as a child. I would run through the village with a full basket of pears and cry, Apples! Apples! <laughs> I don't even know why. I mean, they were pears after all. But I didn't care. Apples! I'd cry, Buy from Bundo! From Bundo, the daredevil market crier! Apples! Apples! Bondo's exploding apples! And oh! I'm fed up with your noise! Uh, oh dear. I should stick to my limitations. I'm running out of ideas. Don't take it too hard. I had already given up hope. Yes, that's the effect I often have on people. Who's the boss here? That would be Reuben. He owns this island. You can find him in the house on the hilltop. On the hilltop? Yeah, way up. Phew. Hey, hey, little man. I thought you wanted to save the world. You'll have to get off your backside for that, you know. Yes, yes, all right. No sweet without sweat, right? That's right. It will pay off in the end. <gasps> Payoff. It doesn't exactly look that way now. More like the opposite. Every step I take brings me nearer to the end. There's also the fear that my dream could come true. That the ground collapses and the world crumbles right under my feet. Um... At the hilltop, you said? Yeah. Way up. Great. Thanks. See you later. Yeah. Later. But... Please keep in mind, be nice and quiet. Like me, I bundle. Be quiet down there. <sighs> Hold it, my friend. The key stays where it is. Reuben has ordered me to watch it closely. And you can always rely on bundle. <laughs> 